This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. Okay, so we're going to talk today about the ranking of the concepts in terms of expense. What's the most expensive concept? What's the least expensive concept? Okay, so how this is determined is by how long it takes to get a concept down. And this is based on qualitative assessment with some quantitative assessment. But here we go. So we're going to go through the five base concepts of the offense, which are zone dive, mid triple, trap, toss, and play action. Okay, so number one, unquestionably the most expensive concept in the offense is midline triple option. It's not even close. The reason why midline triple option is the most expensive concept in the offense is because your quarterback's got to cancel two people with the football, and that takes time. So that's going to take time. It takes work. And basically, that's probably the biggest part. The next biggest thing is, depending on out of what formation you run it, if you run it on a spread, which is what most um, Air Force does most of the time, your A-back needs a lot of reps identifying the run support, identifying if it's double run support, so he makes a tackle, tackle, tackle call to pull the tackle to block the other run support. So pretty much that's the most expensive concept in the offense. Number two, it's the zone dive. Because if you look at what you need to be successful to do it, like how important it is to be successful at that concept in modern times, zone dive is second. Because that is the concept and must go. Vince Lombardi had the pack for sweep. You have the zone dive. It's the play that you must make work because everything else becomes easier and more effective by a result of doing well on the zone dive. And if you're really good on the zone dive, you'll never have to run another play. Two years ago, Air Force ran zone dive 39 times against UNLV. They were in a game last year where they ran zone dive 32 times. So zone dive is number two. Why is it above mid-triple? Mid-triple is because of the actual quarterback progression and the A-back identifying and canceling the run support, identifying if it's double run support, which doesn't happen very often, but you have to be ready in case it does. Because of those reasons, that's the reason why mid-triples one zone dives two. Number three is play action. Okay, you got three concepts in one. You got switch, you got vert, and you got boot. Obviously, throwing the ball takes some work, okay? It takes a lot of work with the quarterback. It takes work with the route running. It takes work with the protection. I mean, every play takes work because there's 11 people doing things, but because of the intricacies involved, play action is number three, okay? But here, here's the bottom line, and, and the reason why it's not higher is very simple. Because if you don't make zone dive work, you're not going to be able to throw the ball. Just telling you right now. You're, you're just not going to be able to throw the ball. Unless it's because they're just running some type of defense where they just have no respect for the pass, which is the would be the only variable. But I'm telling you right now, it's mid-triple one, zone dive two, play action three. You got three concepts in one. You got to work with the quarterback, you know, work – his throwing skills, his the whole if then progression in the passing game. You got to work people running routes, running routes against you know if they're getting jammed at the line of scrimmage. You got to work that. So that would be number three. So it's mid triple one zone dive two, play action three. Number four is the trap. The trap is number four. The biggest key on the trap is is basically getting the two the two down blocks with the guard in the, the place that guard in the center, the tackle veering into the mic. If the mic runs over the top, just let him go because he's not taking the beat back anyway and getting the trap itself executed. Also the quarterback jumping back on the play side, but pointing the ball over the center and then getting out of the way for the beat back. The trap is number four. Number five is the rocket toss. Rocket toss 
you know, I learned many years ago, it's a very inexpensive play. And it's a play that really should only be used against the blitz. And if whoever's setting the edge is coming downhill to take the quarterback, those are the only two times you should ever run rocket toss. The problem is too many people run rocket toss to get the ball away from their offensive line. But number two is running to the pitch. And it creates all sorts of problems. Then you have the backer scraping over the top. Rocket toss is easy. That's why people like it. And I was guilty of it when I was young, of overusing it. I overdosed on it. Rocket toss is the fifth easiest play. And I'm going to tell you something. It's a huge drop off after the trap. So in terms of what's the most expensive concept in the offense, it's mid-triple. It's not even close. Mid-triple is the most expensive. It's going to take the longest to make it go. But I'm telling you right now, if you just get your quarterback enough reps doing it at full speed with an offensive line in front of them, with a real life one and two, you're, you're going to get better fast. And you got to get your A-back reps identifying the run support. That's key. If you're going to run it out of flex, you got to give your receiver reps identifying the run support. When you run mid-triple out of flex, it takes pressure off your A-back because now you can just go block the corner. But now your receiver's the one who's got to identify the run support. He's got to identify whether it's a load scheme, arc scheme, or tackle scheme. And you have double run support. So mid-triple's one, zone dives two, play action three, trap four, toss five. That's the order. Coaches, you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video, so is my website. I got camps for 8-man, 9-man, and 11-man. I've got camps coming up in the next couple weeks for both 8-man and 11-man. And if you want to become a client and you're ready to win fast, give me a call. Everything we do at the Triple Option Football Academy is systematized in an exact progression. So you, your players, your coaches, learn how to do this fast. So you're not trying to guess how to make everything work. You want to learn how to run zone dive, mid triple, trap, toss, and play action immediately within a system, within a framework where everything is done for you, where you don't have to figure things out, and you can just do it over and over and over and over and over until your kids can't do it wrong. That's what the Triple Option Football Academy is all about. I got the camps, and I got the academy. I have separate academies for 8-man, 9-man, and 11-man. You want to learn more, go to TripleOptionFootball.com, then give me a call. Also, go to TripleOptionFootball.com slash testimonials. You can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. And I'll see you later.